Hey guys, this is Desiree, and welcome to MM Book Reviews, and today I'm going to be reviewing Idol by Kristen Callahan. So before I get started on the review, I do have a bit of an announcement to make. I now have a co-blogger on Unbound um Book Reviews. Her name is Casey. She's awesome. She makes beautiful teasers. She writes amazing reviews and she loves all of the most amazing books on the planet. Who wouldn't want that as a co-blogger? Essentially, I don't have time to work on video reviews because they do take from start to finish recording and uploading sometimes somewhere around four days to finish. I don't have as much time to really get posts on my Facebook page as much as I would like. I actually end up using my personal account more for that and I'm sure that annoys the shit out of my family members. Anyway, if you guys have not liked my Facebook page on my book reviews yet, go ahead and do that now. There's going to be a lot more activity going on there, a lot more cover reveals, teasers, blurbs, and just overall activity on there as well as written reviews with my video reviews. The video reviews are not going to change. I'm going to try to do them more often, in fact, so that I can make video reviews accompanying some of the written reviews. But there's just going to be a lot more activity going on in the Facebook page, and I will list it down in the description bar. It is facebook.com slash unboundbookreviews. So go ahead, give it a like, give it a share, and hang out with me and Casey. Okay, on to the review. For those of you who have been around for a while now watching my videos, you guys are well aware of my love of Kristen Callahan and her books. If you guys are new to the channel, let me inform you. Kristen Callahan is a writing goddess. Everything this woman touches is gold. There is not a book by her that I would not read. I just adore the way she writes. And more importantly, she has some of my favorite characters on the entire planet. She just writes these beautifully in-depth characters who are so relatable and she's one of the only authors that I've ever read who can actually pull that off and make it flawless. As a matter of fact, for those of you who follow me on Facebook, you guys also should know that Drew Baylor, who was the male protagonist in The Hookup, which is part of the Game On series that she has, that was the first book in that series, he has been my number one hero of all time for about mm, two years, pretty much ever since the hookup came out. No one has been able to touch him. There have been some heroes that have really come close, but they just managed to fall short. Well, not anymore. Drew Baylor has been topped. He has been dethroned. And it's by another Kristen Callahan hero. Go figure. Only she could create another character that would knock off Drew Baylor, because she created Drew Baylor. You get what I'm saying. So this book just came out yesterday. So yesterday was what, the 7th? So yeah, it came out the 7th. I will have a link for Amazon listed below so you can go check it out. I highly recommend it. This is a rock star romance. And as far as I know, this was kind of just something she came up with. I don't know if this was something that was premeditated or if she just, you know, had the inspiration and sat down and wrote a rockstar book. It's one of those subgenres that I'm kind of picky, choosy with. I think they can come off very cliche. I have read my fair share of very cliche and cheesy rockstar romances in my time. But Kristen Callahan, as I said, is a writing goddess. She could write anything. She could write a book about dirt and I would still read it and go, oh my god, this is amazing. This is flawless. That's how she is to me. That's how I perceive her. So in case you guys were wondering, no, this is not cheesy at all. This is most definitely not insta-love. This was freaking gold. What do you want me to tell you? It's gold. So our heroine, Liberty Bell, yes, that is her real name, walks outside of her house in North Carolina, South Carolina, one of the Carolinas, and finds a lawn bum just hanging out in his own puke drunk, crashed his bike into her fence, totally unconscious. And she decides to teach him a lesson and spray him full force with a water hose. And that turns out to be Mr. Killian James. This is the man who has dethroned the amazing Drew Baylor. I'll explain in a minute. So Killian is actually a former rock star. He's a musician. He was part of one of the biggest bands in the entire world named Kill John. Um, sort of a com combination of 
Killian, his name, and then Jax or John, his lead singer's name. But something really detrimental to the band happened, and they just stopped playing. They had no inspiration. They decided to cool it and just take a while, and Killian ends up going to North Carolina as an escape, somewhat of a um, vacation of sorts, and he meets Liberty Bell and doesn't make the greatest impression on her. Because their houses are right across the street from another, they sort of get to know each other and they really don't have any other choice but to be friendly. Now Liberty Bell is also known as Libby. She is a recluse. She barely talks to anybody. She has no friends. Her parents have passed away. Um, her grandmother's passed away. She's living in her grandmother's house. She's just pretty much a hermit and here comes Killian drunk on her lawn and flips her entire world upside down. I'm sorry like my hair is just I'm not picking my nose. My hair is just in my face. So Killian comes along and kind of forces her in his own special way to communicate and be social and Liberty Bell is just drawn to this magnetism that he has because he's got such a vibrant personality that she can't help to, but to be drawn by someone like that. And not only that, but music also runs in her family. She is also a musician and that's something that they share in common as well. So a couple of months go by and they've really connected. They've really sort of found a need for each other. And Killian gets a call that the band wants him back. They need to go on tour, all this other stuff. And he has to leave. Libby has to decide whether or not she is going to go with him. So we take the journey with Libby and Killian and discover whether or not they can make this relationship work. Whether Libby is going to be completely intimidated and turned off by his rock star lifestyle, whether Killian is going to go back to his, you know, old bad habits or what, and whether or not if she doesn't decide to go, whether or not they can weather the distance. So when I first started this book, I actually thought it was going to be more of a lighthearted read. I thought it was going to be a little bit more easygoing, not very angsty, definitely not a tearjerker. As I continued and progressed through the novel, it continuously got more and more deep and it did get angsty and my gut was kind of popping up into my throat and it really does suck you in before you even realize it. One of the reasons why I love Kristen Callahan so much, one of the many reasons, she has this perfect balance in all of her books. So she has this amazing humorous aspect to all of her books where the characters are so funny, they're so witty, they have all these quips, the banter and the dialogue is just incredible, but then there's always something to balance it out. So it's not left just being flat and it's not really going to leave you at the end of the book going, okay, that was nice. It's going to leave you at the end of the book going, holy shit, what just happened? Kristen Callahan is one of those authors who has just mastered that perfect balance between humor and angsty. She's just somehow managed to completely merge the two without it becoming cheesy, corny, fake, any of that. It's always so well balanced and nothing seems forced either. I would definitely say that her dialogue in this, this book included as well as all of her other ones is some of the best dialogue out there. Just plain and simple period point. It's incredible. She makes these characters so well developed and so real and they're all incredibly relatable. Not one conversation in this book seemed forced or fake. It seemed like these characters were right in front of me talking to each other and having this sort of banter and making this connection. These characters undoubtedly belong together. Libby and Killian were made for each other, even though at the beginning it seems like they're going to be complete opposites and it's going to be an insta-love romance thing and it's not going to make any sense because they're opposites. No, no, no. Do not underestimate the power of Kristen Callahan's influence with her characters, okay? Just don't. I don't know how she does it. I just don't. Also, Kristen Callahan has a major talent at creating heroines that I absolutely love and relate to. I am extremely picky with heroines in novels. Ooh, speaking of Casey, that was her. <laughs> Hi, Casey. I am very picky with heroines and I always find some reason to dislike them. They somehow manage to get on my nerves one way or another. Either they're bitchy or they're petty 
or whatever. They, I almost always find something wrong with a female character to not like her. And that's never the case with any of Kristen Callahan's characters. I related to Libby so much in, you know, all of her ideologies and her beliefs and why she was the way she was and just the fact that she's a recluse. Shit, I can relate to that. I'm, half of us book nerds, I'm sure, are total recluses. No shame in that. It's probably just the way it is. So she just has this really amazing talent for creating characters that are so relatable. So like I believe the rest of Kristen Callahan's books, um, this book is also in alternating perspectives. So you get both Livy's and Killian's at, not at the same time, but they alternate obviously. And she pulls it off flawlessly. There is no issue whatsoever transitioning from Livy and Killian. There's no way she's getting them mixed up. They're totally separate people. I don't know how people do this. I have to like sit back and get in the mode and go, okay, I'm gonna be this person. What's this person like? I have to get into their mindset, especially if it's a girl and a guy. Then I really need the time. And most of the time I'm blaring music in my ears because that's my inspiration. But Kristen has no issue whatsoever transitioning into separate characters. If in her real life, she actually does find this really tax taxing. You'd never know it. The writing was, of course, beautiful, having said all of that about the alternating perspectives. Uh, just fucking flawless, man. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> the chemistry between Killian and Libby was smoking. I'm talking like flames out the window, baby. Just whoosh. Whoa. There was also a great amount of character development in this. So both Libby and Killian are, you know, they're different personalities, but they can't remain different personalities all throughout the book. Otherwise, there's going to be no reason whatsoever other than physical attraction for them to be together. You can have insta-love or insta-lust throughout the entire book. It just doesn't work. So there was amazing and believable and very well-paced character growth in this. And they absolutely grow together, Killian and Libby. And they also, you guys know that this is another thing unlike in novels, they also have to discover their own way through post personal growth. They can't just lean on each other. They have to grow separately as well as grow together in order for it to really be realistic and to be believable. I don't think this woman can ever write something that I'm not gonna like. I just don't see it happening. You guys need to pick this book up right now. Just do it and also go over to my facebook page and give it a like and if you want to and are feeling especially lovely give it a share and tune in for more reviews going on and more cover reveals and more teasers and all that good stuff so definitely go check my page out so once again i will leave my facebook page for unbound book reviews down below as well as the amazon purchase link for idol so you guys can go check it out and then go on my facebook page and let me know what you think all right guys so that is it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed this review if you did give it a big fat thumbs up and please subscribe if you are not already to see some more videos from me and i will see you guys later bye